Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for the continued support of my channel. All right, you guys, I'm back. I was gone a month with COVID. I know you've seen a couple videos posting in January, but those were pre-recorded like four weeks ago. I was down and out, but I am back and hopefully the content's gonna be better than ever, all right? So today's video is going to be 10 fragrances that I feel like belong in every woman's collection. I feel like the majority of these are going to be safe blind buys. Any that I feel like are not safe, I will definitely let you know. But these are 10 cents that I just don't ever wanna be without. They are beautiful. These are gonna give you a lot of versatility if you're just starting out in fragrance collecting. And I just feel like every collection needs to have each of these, okay? So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay, you guys, now before we get into the actual list of perfumes, we have a sponsor for today's video, and that is the jewelry company, Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry company based out of New York, and what they specialize in are these absolutely gorgeous, unique jewelry pieces that focus on affordability, while being a sustainable jewelry company. I absolutely love the pieces that they gifted to me. Now, everything that I am wearing is from Ana Luisa, okay? I have earrings, I've got this beautiful necklace, and then I have this gorgeous bracelet. What I'm wearing will be linked in the description box below, but listen, what is coming up next? Valentine's Day. Fellas, if you are watching this, women, if you want to treat yourself, this is the way to go. The pieces, as gorgeous as they are, only start at $39, okay? And then they go up to a higher end range, but everything is just a stunning display of craftsmanship. Right now they are running a buy one, get one 40% off sale. So if you have been looking at the pieces, thinking about buying, this is absolutely the time to get your hands on some of their jewelry. So when you do get the pieces, they will arrive in completely recyclable materials. Mine came in these little cloth pouches, which I think are just so, cute and easy to store your pieces. Everything was just really high quality. I was actually really impressed with the pieces that they sent to me. I picked some rather small and dainty pieces. So for me, what that means is I can wear them anywhere. You know, statement jewelry, you really have to think about, is this gonna go with the occasion, the outfit? These, you just put them on, you grab and go, you don't even have to think about it. I have these gorgeous little pair of earrings here. I have on my Cancer Zodiac sign necklace. And I also have this gorgeous bracelet, which is my personal favorite from, you know, the selections that I've ordered. I'm very happy with the selections that I've chosen and that they've gifted to me. And you know what? Be sure to follow them on Instagram and also visit their website. Everything again will be linked in the description box below. All right, now before we dive into this, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure the notification bell is turned on and give the video a big thumbs up as it helps my channel to grow. First, I need you to drop me a comment below and let me know three fragrances that you feel like should be in every woman's, did I hold up three? Three fragrances that you feel like should be in every woman's collection. All right, you guys, so the first one on this list is in the category of classy. This fragrance is Maison Francis Kirk de Jean's Gentle Fluidity Gold. And I chose this one because, of course I had to like do this tug of war, am I gonna do Baccarat Rouge? Am I gonna do Gentle Fluidity Gold? Gentle Fluidity Gold to me is overwhelmingly loved by women. 540 can still be very polarizing. I feel like it is a masterpiece scent. I'm absolutely obsessed with it but it is polarizing. Everyone does not feel, you know, um, 
great about that fragrance, I must say. But this one, I still have not come across anyone that just does not like this scent. Not saying that everyone likes it, just in my experience. Like, this is loved, okay? This fragrance is just, just, oh my God. It is such a beautiful, unique, amber, vanilla, musky scent. And... I really feel like you can't go wrong. Now, a tip, if you are buying MFK fragrances, always buy direct from the brand because it's just cheaper with the conversion. And for some reason, I don't know, it's just <laughs> the price is lower, okay? So you're talking about paying, you know, 250 bucks, I think, for Baccarat Rouge 540. You paying way more than that here in the States. Um, so if you want to buy MFK, Always buy directly from the website. The shipping is free and it is fast. So that is my tip for you. But yes, this Gentle Fluidity Gold is just so classy. This is one that will garner attention. It has amazing performance. And I feel like if you don't have this in your collection, you are missing out. So definitely get your nose on it if you've never um, smelled it. Also, I think through MFK, you can get samples for like four dollars so definitely check it out if you've never smelled it get your nose on it all right you guys so the next category is going to be your intimate scent category and for that one i chose the exquisite lancome la nuit treasure a la folie and it has to be this flanker the a la folie okay this fragrance is so freaking sexy it is Heavy vanilla, heavy benzoin, okay? But it's sweet and it's got this incense vibe to it. I don't know if it has an incense note, but maybe it's just the way um, the amber is in here. I don't know. It's just good, okay? This one, I feel like if you like vanilla, this could be a safe mind buy. I just, I don't know how you could like spray this and just not like it. This is one that, it's going to be great for a date night. If you just want to wear it to work, you can do that. If there's, you know, someone in the cubicle next to you where you're trying to, you know, grab his attention, this is it. This is the one. And I feel like this fragrance is just going to be the one you want to put on where you know you're going to be close to your boo. You're at home cozy. You know, it's, it's grown folks time. All that kind of, this is it. This one, he's going to love on you or she, whatever floats your boat. I just feel like it's quintessential feminine. It is sexy. It is spicy. It is vanilla. You cannot go wrong with this scent. And for that reason, I feel like it should just be in every woman's collection. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the next one on this list is going to be the unique category. If you put on Tom Ford's Metalik, no one in the room is going to smell like you. First of all, don't blind by this, okay? <laughs> and I say that because the aldehydes in here are very potent. I do not like the way Chanel aldehydes smell. However, this scent, I love the way the aldehydes are done in here. They're almost addictive to me. This is aldehydes. It is a very, very powdery vanilla. You've got to like it powdery. You have to appreciate the aldehydes. But if you can do that, you are going to love this scent. This one is not the warm and cozy vanilla, which, you know, that's what we're used to. This one is a, it's almost like a cool, like a cold, metallic, powdery. It's so, it's so good. I love this vanilla scent. It is just exquisite. And for me, some people think that this has very poor performance. I can smell this on me, okay? I wore this to a recital and I was almost a little self-conscious thinking that everyone could smell me because I put on so much. <laughs> so it's just gonna perform differently on you know different skin types, just like any other fragrance. Um, I feel like this has moderate, uh, performance definitely still decant if, if you're trying to smell good all day you're gonna have to decant top off but I feel like this projects on me I feel like this is unique and it is gorgeous 
not a blind buy again definitely get your nose on it sephora they usually have it on display so if you're in there stop it try it on your skin and let me know your thoughts if you have this one in your collection again this is the unique okay as unique as this bottle is i feel like the juice matches this is metallic by tom ford okay so the next one is also by tom ford and this is going to be your category of dark and sexy i think every woman should have something in their collection that is a little deep a little dark and it's going to you know give you a little mysterious vibe now the one i chose is tom ford's noir perfume because it is a deep dark vanilla but it is very electronic because of the cool fee note in there if you're not familiar with that it's like an indian frozen dessert like kind of like an ice cream but it's got like spices in the ice cream so they've done that here as well i think there's like little peppery scents i think there is amber in here this one get your nose on it first if you can and i say that because this is just it's it's got this it's like a wow factor okay and for me i i can see where someone may not like this it's a very like i said unique scent but it is gorgeous in my opinion this one is dark and sexy but it is versatile so you can still wear this to work you can put noir perfume on and leave from the boardroom to happy hour straight to a date night you know this one is just um like i said it's it's a little spicy it's vanilla it's desserts it's a little powdery it's got you know these woody nuances i just ugh, I just love this scent and it is going to be perfect for the fall and winter season. So let me just read you the notes. It's got ginger, bitter orange, mandarin orange, and bergamot in the top. So I don't get a lot of the citruses in the opening. To me, I just get the ginger and then I automatically just start picking up on those middle notes. So you've got the kofi, rose, jasmine, orange blossom, then in the base, you've got vanilla, amber, sandalwood, and it says like a mystique. I, if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be like kind of like a turpentine scent. Like I said, not blind by worthy. Definitely get your nose on it, but it's just a very gorgeous, dark, beautiful, ambery scent to me. And I feel like everyone or every woman needs this in her collection. Now, this one was discontinued and replaced by Noir Extreme. However, I prefer this version over the newer updated one. Even though this is discontinued, you can still definitely find this on Discounters websites with ease. Plenty still in circulation, so highly recommend it. And this again is Noir Parfum by Tom Ford. All right, so the next one on this list is going to be your easy everyday go-to. So we're talking signature scent worthy type of scent. And for that one, I chose Guerlain's um, Mon Guerlain Intense. This Edel Parfum is so special and gorgeous. I actually now prefer this one over the original just because there's more vanilla. I'm a vanilla like slut. I just am. I cannot get enough of vanilla. So in here, you've got a very smooth, okay, vanilla, lavender, sweet scent. And I'm not familiar with all, I can't remember all the notes off the top of my head, but if you have the original and you like it, you're going to love this one. Like I said, this one, very signature scent worthy. I actually got this one for my mom over Christmas and she loves it. When anyone asks me for recommendations, if you're new to fragrances, I'm not, you know, really going to be asking you, well, what kind of, you know, top notes and scent, pro you probably don't know. So I don't even ask you that. What I do is I direct you towards this. This is a highly likable scent. Lavender is, it's hard to pull off in a feminine fragrance. And this is the one of the very few that have done it beautifully. I am not a Leap fan. I have mentioned that many times on this channel because that scent 
uh, I have a problem with the way it's blended, okay? And I feel like that can pull masculine. This is quintessential feminine, okay? This is femininity and it's lavender, okay? If the woman loves lavender in general, she's probably going to like this scent. Highly, highly recommended. When people ask me for recommendations, this is the first one I always throw out. And every time they love it. So if you've never smelled Monger Lime, intense, get it. Blind by worthy in my opinion. I'm gonna say that, but take that with a grain of salt because ultimately I like to tell you to never believe the hype, always get a sample. <laughs> So stop in your Sephora. Um, they may have this on display. They may not just depending on your location. But I think if you purchase through Sephora, if you don't like it, you can easily get your money back. So it's harder to get a sample on, you know, certain designer fragrances unless you go in person, get it on this place. You're not going to be able to get this to a scent split. Um, so, yeah, I would say go ahead, blind buy it through Sephora. See if you like it. If you do. Great. If you don't, you can always just get your money back. All right. And that is Mongerlan the Intense. Okay. The next category is going to be our sweet snack category. And that is your gourmands. I'm a gourmand lover, but if I could recommend one that I feel like every woman needs, it's going to be Vanilla Tooling 8 by K. Ali. I have talked about this so much on my channel and for good reason. This is just a beautiful, straightforward, vanilla, brown sugar, slightly musky floral scent. And overall, you're just going to get this burst of vanilla, okay? And it's very, very sweet. However, even if you do not like it super sweet and you can't take weirdness on its own, you still need this in your collection for layering. I don't care what anybody says. This is one of the best vanillas to layer with, and I don't know why. I don't know what they've done in this um, to make it just, it just pairs so well with so many fragrances in my collection. Um, oh, it's so good, it's so good. And I'm so happy I finally got my backup bottle. It is in route, it arrives today. I got my large 3.4. So now I can start spraying this like I've lost my mind again. I have been conserving it. <laughs> because these sell out and they stay sold out. And I don't know why y'all stress me out, okay, Ali? Like, let's keep this thing coming, okay? So happy to finally have, like I said, a backup bottle coming because this is backup bottle worthy. These are hard to sample. Sephora, they usually don't have these, well, in the States. Sephora, they usually do not have these on display. You can get the 10 mil from um, Sephora or the Huda Beauty website, but as far as a sample, they're just hard to come by. So all of my Kelly's have been blind buys because I didn't have an option. Like they're just, you have to, you know, like I said, Sephora, if you like it, great. If you don't return it, they have a very good hassle-free return policy, but I love this one and I feel like you will too. So give it a try. If you have it, let me know in the comments below your thoughts because I just cannot be without this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vanilla brown sugar tonka scent. And that is Vanilla 28 by Kay Ali. All right, you guys. So the next one is just your classic rose scent. I don't care what anybody says. Every woman needs a good rose in her collection. Now, I am not of that persuasion where rose is dated, it is mature, it is granny. I just, I've never felt that way about rose in general. Um, but many people do feel that way. Many people are not a fan of rose, but this beauty right here changed so many people's opinions and it is for a good reason. This is Delina, the exclusive version and I feel like you need this in your collection because this is such a well done, well blended, unique rose fragrance. And it is super feminine, but it has presence. This has some of the best performance that you are going to find. This lasts on your skin for hours and hours and hours. It has a tremendous Siage, okay? Siage monster. Compliment magnet. 
you don't like the original Delena, this is the one to get. It doesn't have the tart rhubarb note. It also introduces a little oud, very powdery. It has a little bit more um, vanilla added to it. And it's just all around a gorgeous, gorgeous stunner, okay? Delena Exclusive belongs in every woman's collection. Okay, the next category is going to be your vacation vibe. And that is Draco by Tiziana Terenzi. I love this peach, powdery, vanilla green scent. If you have smelled a bit and you cannot pull it off, I really think you will like this one. This one is more feminine. It's soft, it's powdery. Like I said, it's got those green notes, but it is sweet. It is so well blended. It has gorgeous, amazing performance, but it's not going to be quite as loud in a beast mode as Tibet. Um, Tiziana Terenzi, they just have, you know, a very specific DNA, especially with their fruity florals, and you get that in here. But amazing performance. I don't think there is a Tiziana Terenzi uh, that does not perform. It's just... I haven't met her <laughs> if she exists and I highly doubt, you know, that that is the case. These are x straight the performs and the thing about it is they project. <laughs> Whereas a lot of times the x straights they do sit closer to the skin. They last and last and last forever, but they don't project as far because there's a lower alcohol content. But for some reason, I don't know what kind of voodoo <laughs> that Tiziana Terenzi do. Okay, but they project, they last. And this one is the one you want to wear. Okay, when you're on vacation, when you have a date, you can wear it during the day. It is a beautiful, versatile summer scent. And I feel like it's rich. Like this has got such a rich vibe to me. This is money, but this is feminine. This is floral. This is like I said, perfectly fruity and it's just beautifully blended. And I highly recommend you getting your, your nose on this one if you have not ever sampled it. I think soavantgarde.com may have samples of this one. If I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that. But you'll definitely be able to you know get a sample from somewhere. These retail for um, on the lower end than a lot of their other fragrances. I feel like this one is just highly likable. It's easy to pull off and just easy to wear. And it's so, so, so I even reach for this in the fall and winter. I've still been wearing this thing out. It's just, a, it's a stunning fruit, you know, floral scent. And I highly, highly recommend you getting this one in your collection. That is Draco by Tiziana Terenzi. All right, you guys. So the next one is actually newer in my collection because it's on the way it's not even here i have had the decant abby from abby with love have she's raved about this for a couple of years now and i finally got my hands on a travel size of amber nui by dior Privé, and let me tell you it is worth the hype two days I wore this and I went on ahead and ordered a full bottle because it is just that good. This scent it is very ambery, warm, and spicy, but the way that they have blended it, it is not like a hard to pull off amber. Like Grand Soir, that's, that's not going to be for, especially for females. It's, it's a certain type of skin and person that you have to have to pull that one off. But this one, I feel like is perfectly unisex. They have really gotten it right with this particular fragrance. This is spicy with the pink pepper, but it's not too spicy. Like you don't have to like spicy to love this. You don't even have to like amber. <laughs> so like I'm telling you, get your nose on it. If you've never experienced Amber Nui by Dior, because it is so, so, so good. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. A man will absolutely love this and rock it. It's so, so gender fluid. I cannot stress that enough. Women, 
you need this in your collection. And I say that because everyone needs a warm, spicy, cozy, ambery scent. And this is, I feel like, a very safe one to, to try. Get your nose on it. If you have it, let me know what you think. I feel like it is just so beautiful. I almost regret getting the smaller size already. We'll see. If I can get through, you know, the little, uh, what is it, 40 mil bottle, then I'll, it'll just be backup bottle worthy. I mean, it's so good, y'all. It is so good. And I feel like it's just something that belongs in, you know, every woman's collection. If you feel like it's still just a little bit too unisex and maybe leaning masculine for you, which I doubt it will be, but if you feel like that, it layers gorgeously. <laughs> with vanilla 28 i wore them both yesterday and i was really feeling myself all right so again that is amber nui by dior Privé. all right and the last one on this list is going to be your citrus okay every woman needs a good citrus but this one the way it is done is just exquisite and this is stella by the house of toka great price point great perfume this is just unique and I feel like because of the florals in it. This is blood orange. This is bitter orange at the top and it is a very prominent orange, but it is not like a sharp, um, super bright, you know, it's not, it's not that kind of citrus. You, you've just got to smell it to understand where I'm coming from, but the florals in here, okay, usually in designers, what they do is they jasmine, they tuberose you, they ylang ylang you, they uh, orange blossom you to death. This one, they carefully thought it out, okay? Freesia and lily and orchid. The combination with the blood orange, it just, it's, it's mind blowing. It is so gorgeous. You will get so many compliments off of this scent, which is not really something that you think when you're thinking citrus. But trust me, you need this in your collection. I have it at Sephora, usually on display. So if, if they have it at yours, definitely get your nose on it. And that is Stella by Toka. Highly, highly recommend this beautiful, sensual, sexy orange. Yeah, I, exactly. They don't even usually go in the same tints as a sexy orange. But this one, it's stunning. All right, you guys. So that is our video for today. Do not forget to leave me a comment below. Let me know fragrances that you feel like should be in every woman's collection. And also do not forget to shop Ana Luisa. All the information will be linked in the description box below. You still have got time. It's just the middle of January. So you've got just a few weeks to get your Valentine's Day, you know, uh, plans in order. And I just feel like the jewelry pieces are the way to go. You, if you do decide to shop, definitely use my affiliate link that's in the description box below. And be sure to visit them on Instagram to stay up to date on the latest releases and promotions.